So as you can see, I finally got a jack plate for my motors. Um, this is a micro jacker. Uh, this takes up to 115 horsepower or 425 pounds. I mean, this thing is actually pretty sweet because this only weighs 23 pounds. It's um, compact. Uh, everything's built in here, so just hook up my switches here. Um, I have the harness. And the boat is going on is my aluminum boat. And the reason why I have this uh, jack plate is because I run uh, like, you know, 20 inch long shaft motors, the 90s, the 40s, and the 50s. And they're all uh, 20 inches. And this is a uh, 15 inch transom. So with that jack plate, it's gonna really help me with speed and performance and just gonna help, you know, the performance overall on um, the motors on this boat. So here's the jack plate installed. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys how it works. Um, this harness is a little bit messy, but it's very basic. I also bought this. Um, this is just a nicer switch you could put on your uh, top mount controls or whatnot or in your center console. But this isn't hooked up. It's pretty easy to hook up, but it comes with this switch. Just up and down switch. And there it is. Um, that's the highest um, it could go. Um, so right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a motor on here and we're just going to see how well it, um, it's leveled with the cavitation plate with the bottom of my transom. Hopefully it's pretty close. Uh, so that's what I'm hoping right now. So check this out. This is the motor that I'm going to put on the jack plate. This is a uh, non-oil injected 42 stroke. It's pretty nice. It's in good condition. It's all original. Power till and trim, electric start. Uh, personally, I like it without the oil injection system because it's, um, this clears up a lot of space, and um, you know that you know you're premixing your own fuel, so you know it's gonna get lubricated. But anyways, um, as you can see, uh, I got to lower it down here, and uh, after I install this thing, I'm gonna put it in the water, and we'll see how fast this thing will go. And for you guys who, um, you know, have a 15 inch transom and, you know, you have a 20 inch uh, shaft motor, long shaft, and you want to know how it sits on the highest um, setting, um, this is all the way up and uh, as you can see, that's where the motor is sitting. It's um, <clears throat> pretty good right now. Um, that's at the highest setting and like I said, it could go uh, lower, but it can't go higher. I can't go any lower because it's hitting the ground, but... As you can see, that's where it sits. But yeah, I'm really happy with the item. Gonna clean out my boat a little bit. I'm gonna put this thing in the water. I'm gonna test it out and see how it does. So I'm out here on the water, I uh, put the boat in. Um, looks like it's um, somewhat low tide. I'm not sure if the tide's coming in or out yet. But um, so far, I'm happy with the jack plate. Um, kind of curious how fast, you know, we'll go and what a difference it's gonna be. As you can see, got the motor running. And it's fully um, all the way up right now. All right, let's go for a spin. So I found the best position, and this is where it's set up right now. <clears throat> um, it's actually, I, it's fully trimmed up, uh, the jack plate. And um, I actually hit 37 miles an hour for a max speed on this boat. And honestly, I couldn't imagine the 90, because the 90 will do 37 without the jack plate. <laughs> so. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to trim the jack plate all the way down and see what speed I would be at without the jack plate. Um, so bring this thing down. 
wonder how much um, speed we're gaining with this jack plate. Because that's where I would sit normally if I didn't have this jack plate. Uh, have my uh, GPS reset. I'm gonna have some water spraying in here probably. So that was full speed, and it looks like we topped out at 30 miles an hour. So, yeah, there you go. So, pretty big difference in speed. I'm just gonna quickly uh, rinse the motor, let her run, and I'm gonna head home. Great running motor. She did really good. Appreciate you guys watching, and hopefully, you like this video.